Welcome everybody, the time has finally come with my new HD capture device in tow. It's finally time to record my first HD video game. This is the MJ406 and we're about to enter a brand new journey. It's time for Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. As I may have mentioned in my video from last Saturday, I'm going to be doing this game at the same time as uh, my friend Koda. While he is doing the uh, regular quest, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. However, I will say this now. I guess there may be a few minor spoilers <coughs> that come from this one. So, um... But right now, there's nothing like major story-wise that's coming up with spoilers. However, the only spoiler that'll be shown in this... Oh, by the way, I'm using the Wii U Pro Controller. Right there. The only spoiler I have is that after you beat the game the first time, you unlock a second playthrough. Which, yeah. Things are different, believe it or not. Okay. I've been debating over a name... Koda's name he offered me, um, while I do think it would work well, um, I'm honestly trying to cut down profanity a slight bit. I think it's getting a little outrageous. As much as I, as much as I would love to hear F me constantly, I will just go with me instead. You guys are ready for the most narcissistic adventure there's ever been. Alright, so this second playthrough on the way, let's get started. I'm not going to be skipping anything though, I can skip cutscenes, I'm not going to. This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Speak louder! Please. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. Oh god, why do we get this horrible... Museum person. It was a prosperous land blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. And donkeys, apparently. But one day a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. And it happened to be a giant pig with Andros hands. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. Okay, that doesn't surprise me. That damn golden triangle. Then, when all hope had died and the Hour of Doom seemed at hand, at his hands, rather, Ooh! A young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Hey, that looks like the one from A Link Between Worlds. Apparently there are different links, though. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. Good for you, you little green man. This boy who traveled through time to save the land was known as the Hero of Time. I guess that donkey of his can run at 88 miles per hour. Wow. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. He is legend. Except he's not Will Smith. But then, a the day came when a fell wind blew. I mean, when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. Jeez, learn to read! The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero came out of the volcano looking like a even darker thing. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. It didn't design anything. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. Oh, those eyes. They're watching over. But the hero did not appear. Probably got stuck watching some stupid porno at home. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. Damn. They let the world get controlled by gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. No, he gave up on them. What a dick. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. Well, it'd be nice if somebody knew. 
That's a critical piece of history. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. Ugh. It is a tic-tac, you ask me. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. What age would that be exactly? They never really went over that. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. How many heroic blades can you have? It... Seriously, who forges these things? The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. Maybe someday somebody would. Not if you keep making a frickin' ceremony, though. Oh, hey! Finally! Outset Island! It's the outset of a new adventure! Oh, look at that! Hi! Big Brother! That's a nice piece of clothing she's wearing. You're wondering, um... Big Brother! If you're wondering if I mentioned anything about, um, uh... Differences between the first and second playthrough, I'll mention them later on. For now, though, I think it's safe just to leave as it is. Big Brother! Uh oh. Don't creep on me, I'm trying to sleep. Oh, bitch, what? I was out drinking all night. Oh. I guess I'm just talking to myself again. Ugh. Damn, these hangovers are horrible. I knew you'd be here. What the? Yo, don't creep up on me like that. <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out of the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Ariel's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? Uh, Tuesday? Ah, uh, you're still half asleep, aren't you? Well, like I said, I'm hungover. Did you forget? Maybe. Hey, I don't, maybe I remember. Brother, it's your birthday. What? No, it's not. Uh, okay, fine. I'll just go with it. That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Uh, I don't know if I want to. Screw you. I'm getting out of here. Oh, I can't. Ow, that works. Yes, I'm sure everybody knows. This is one of Nintendo's very first HD remake. A good one at that. They took the most underappreciated Zelda title at the time, back in 2003, and decided to give it another spin, not only for their future endeavors of Zelda games, but also to help people relive live the experience that couldn't experience it beforehand. Yeah, I, I believe they made a smart move. This is my third favorite Zelda game, only behind um, uh, the obvious Ocarina of Time and another one. I don't feel like mentioning the other one because, well, I don't think I need to yet. Yep. Hey, kid. Let me just grab some money, and I'll be out of your hair. Or out of your... stick? Oh, yeah. a stick? What is that? Ow, I hope I'll be able to jump like you someday, me. What? What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, he's talking to himself. Okay. And anyway... Oh, let me help you out, buddy. What are you doing? I just saw a wild, a uh, wild pig. Ooh, see? Look, that black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. Ready to go grab it, me? Now, you can't just run up on it. Pigs are too alert to their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. Yep, he's talking to himself as well. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold ZR to crouch and tilt. L stick to crawl slowly up behind it. Slowly. You don't distract with bait, I guess. It's like they don't know I'm here. All right. Hi, pig. Come here, piggy. 
Oh, god damn, they made me drop the pig. Oi, me? Press the on right there and you say to talk to me. Try it. Um, talk to myself? Oh, you. That's correct. You are a smart one. You, my friend, have just targeted me. You see, when you press ZL, you can target certain objects. I, for the one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around to target, you can press ZL to face forward, you know? It's quite handy, indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use tar targeting as well. Quite a genius little thing, if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag, not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. Um, well, you made me drop a pig. I'm not happy about that, buddy. Ugh, it took me another five seconds just to get it back. Oh, God, not that kid. Pig, I don't want to mess with you right now. I've got, I got to deliver these pigs to this lady right here. I mean, I assume she is the wife since she has a pig pen. And she's standing in it. Maybe I can find more, though. I feel like two isn't enough. My ideal number for pets is three, if you ask me. Then again, I have too many cats to count on one hand, so... My theories on pets are invalid. Oh god, that kid has a giant booger hanging out. I'm running away from that. <laughs> Might be another pig on the other side of the island. I would think. Maybe. I gotta say, even though Wind Waker back in the GameCube looked pretty good and had a great art style for its time, you wouldn't really think it'd be outdated because of how it looked. HD makes it look even better somehow. I really do like that. Now, I guess some of you may be thinking, well, if Coda's doing Wind Waker HD, why don't you just do the original Wind Waker? Number one, too many people have done that already for me. Number two, I figured the second quest thing would be good. And number three, without going over it all immediately, Wind Waker HD is the definitive version of the game, so it would be worthless playing a inferior version of the game. In my eyes, anyway. Why did you find these pigs? I bring them here just for little old me. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pig for a while now. Oh, and the boys will be so happy when they get home. Okay, me, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. Are you rewarding? Oh, no, you're rewarding me, money. Oh, 20 rupees, sweet. And here's our gratitude for bringing us new family members. Uh, or? Okay, that's weird. And finally, let's congratulate you for working so hard on your birthday. Happy birthday to you! And more money. Um, you could've just given me all in one burst, you know, instead of separately. I suppose now I'll have to name these little oinking cuticans. That's Sergeant Spoinks. I can't really think of any other names for you. Pick them up. Eh. Fine, you name them. I'd rather leave it up to you. Oh, hey, there's a random ship just sitting here. Why don't I go over to it? Ah, water. Damn it, I don't like water. Oh, hello. By the way, this game introduced Beetle. Ooh, a customer. Welcome to Beetle's shop ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. You can sell them things? Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? Oh, just use the left stick to browse. Okay. So I'm going to buy a bait bag for 20 rupees. Yay. By the way, you're going to want this. Definitely. In fact, you probably need it. Thank you. You're the greatest. I'll never forget you. I'm going to make a member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you. I'll have you know. Now you, ha now you have one point saved up. You should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. Which does nothing. 
Spoiler alert. Let me buy this highway pair, which apparently I can't buy anywhere else, even though there's plenty of ships like this. Thank you for this. Apparently you can help control seagulls. Thank you! You have two points now. And I'll buy all-purpose bait. Thank you for that as well. It has three portions to be used to drive, bring in a whole bunch of random creatures. And I may as well buy another pair. Weird. Seeing all the games I've done for my channel, I can't believe it's taken me this long. Yep. I've done so many Metroid games, and this it took me this long to actually do a Zelda game. I plan on doing another one, actually, but... Well, I guess it seemed kind of convenient for me and Coda's channel, since, well... We're finally playing a game that's at least coming... that came out recently, so... There's that. Yeah, I think I had to go see Grandmother. Let's do that. Grandma, where are you? Uh, Grandma? Grandma! God, oh, are you deaf? I've been down here waiting for you. Come on. I've been waiting for you, me. Hi. Here you are, me. Try these on. Why have I been named this horrible curse? These are special clothes, made of a special fabric that only the honest can see. Only the honest? Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. <laughs> you got the hero's new clothes. What the? Wow, they're really light. Well, I guess it's the obvious difference in, um, uh, when in the second quest. What's the matter? Why the long face? You can see them, can't you? <laughs> well, today is the day we commemorate the fact that you've reached the same age as the Hero of the Legends. You have to be proud about that for at least one day. Put them on and see if you can't fool anybody in town. Okay. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for the battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who knows any still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Seems nice. Ugh. God damn it, I can't I can't tell what I'm doing. Does this all make sense to you? Yes. By the way, does that why does that picture look like you a five o'clock shadow? I was pretty Wowdy back then, wasn't I? Oh, God. Isn't that nice, me? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Uh, you're not wearing them. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma's going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister. Errol. Errol, you crazy. No, seriously, let, let, let's look at this picture. It looks like she has five o'clock shadow. Some strange pictures. Well, at least the lighting effects are good, even if they are a bit strange. Oh yeah, you can move around first person view. It's first person Zelda, yay! Oh, God. If only you could play the whole game first-person perspective. That would be interesting, I guess. Oh, wait, I forgot... How can I forget the basic rule of Zelda? Break everything in your path. Break everything and get money. Damn it! Well, I guess it's not the most basic rule. It's around there. It's based on destruction to get money. Ah, oh, this place is so boring. I wish something exciting would happen. Oh, God! Get away from me! Ugh. God. Where is his mother? That guy needs a crib. Although... Actually, someone should probably just get him a freaking snot rag. That would be much preferable. Look at those shadow effects. 
Well done. Sorry, right, I, I can't help but enjoy the HD visuals that I get right now. Oh god, I scared the birds. Sorry, Errol. Ah, hoy, big brother. Was that supposed to be a hoy or hoy? Did Grandma make that outfit for you? Okay, change the subject, fine. Uh, you always wear the same outfit. I think you need a new look. Ah, looks like somebody can't tell, and neither can I. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, me, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? Uh-oh, you're not giving me an Indian sunburn, are you? I'm going to give you my most crucial belonging, but just for one day. Oh, boy. Happy birthday! Oh, boy, it's a telescope. There's no stars out here! I'll set it to whatever I want, but that's not very helpful. Now, I'm not using the gamepad, so don't tell me that. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at our house from here. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, hang on, let me pause and set the item. Wait, what the hell? Hang on a second. Why do I have the camera already? Uh, no. Uh, spoilers! No, go away! Okay, so there's one... There's a couple differences to mention right now. I'll do that while I'm standing here. Actually, I'll wait a little bit. Brother, are you using l to zoom in? Because you should be. Hey, what's that? Looks like some bird at the post box. Hey, guy. What the hell? The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? <laughs> Yo, that's just a mailbox. Ah, me, the sky. Look up in the sky. Why aren't you looking up, then? Okay, I'll look. All right, fine. Oh, God. Is that bird taking a... Custard roll? Oh, hey, pirates! Well, I don't know what kind of creature this would be, but it's not exactly the kind of thing I would expect Captain Jack Sparrow to be hunting. Look out! Oh! <laughs> Worst reaction ever. He just stood there with his mouth gaped open for like two seconds. He's like, no! And now that girl fell. Me! This is so terrible! That girl fell into the forest! She needs help! But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with! It's too dangerous to go it alone, you mean? Ah. Uh, God damn it. Okay, now we have time on our hands. Let me explain some of the differences you've seen so far. As you can tell, I got a uniform early on in the game. Wondering why it's nothing? In the original quest, it's actually the green tunic that Link usually wears. Or in this case, me usually wears. Ah, kid. Second difference you see, you see the, the, uh, the photograph box I have? Well, you're not supposed to have that at the beginning of the game. I remember the, well, the original Wind Waker, they did it differently, but that's whatever. Alright, well, I need something to defend myself with. Maybe I'll go talk to this old man. Maybe I should do it next time. Hey! 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 I can talk to you from over here! Hey! 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 Hey!